Welcome back to McGinn's Woodshop. I apologize first of all for the lengthy period of time putting out videos. And with that said, this here is Channel Pass. I know some of you have been waiting for this for a while. And the concept of Channel Pass is created by Chris Q at Make the First Cut. Check out his channel in the link below. It's the very first link. Um, it'll bring you actually to the playlist of all these channel passes. And what it is, is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you about different creators um, and what I like about them and show you some of their work and give you some insight into them so that you yourself can judge whether you like them or not and if you do I encourage you to go over and check out more of their stuff and also to subscribe to them uh, and uh, get involved by commenting if you're if you really feel passionate about it so with that said Chris first of all I'd like to give you this mallet it's an L mallet, it's in the mail now. By the time this video comes out, this will be in the mail. Um, thank you very much, and this is uh, my way of saying sorry. <laughs> okay, first up for Channel Pass is Wacky Woodworks, also no known as Nighthawk. This guy is awesome. Not only does he have a diverse kinds of things that he does in his shop and just tries all sorts of fun different things, uh, and he's good at it, um, he also, on the side, makes music, and so with it, he has a YouTube channel and he has a, a web page on his about link on his YouTube channel, where you can go and download different music that he freely gives away for anybody to use. Uh, different creators, and there's all sorts of music there for you to pick from, and he keeps adding stuff, and it's it's good. Uh, so I I really encourage you to check that out, and if you do use his stuff. It's not a requirement, but we'd really appreciate if you put his name on your show notes and even in the video, just giving him a little bit of a tag for using his work. Uh, that's what it's all about, sharing and pushing things around with each other and uh, lifting each other up. So, with that, I want to read his description. My goal is simply to inspire others by making easy projects with wood, plastic, metal, fabric, cardboard, and anything else. Most projects are made purely off the cuff and only have a general idea of how they're going to turn out. Let's go check them out. Links below, and let's go see some of his work. Gun rake some. Screw them up. Ooh, I'm in luck. They don't need squaring up. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> As Charles Deering would say, bing, bing. not pling plonk. Because I'm actually quite lazy, I'm just going to use my rotary tool to sort of sand it, sand it to fit. Now I've got this old handrail here. And that will hopefully drop the lollies out. That's the theory. Would have been quicker on the drop saw. Well, the joys of making things off the cuff. Next up, this guy's hilarious, talented, and a lot of fun to hang out with. Matthew Royer. Great guy. Um, Love it, makes little jingles, fun jingles, and he's always joking around with everybody. Uh, he's always coming out to the show, and he's just generally involved. And you can find him at Warriors Custom Working. Jimmy Durasta recently did a, a tall parts storage tool cabinet, you know, relatively tall, had a bunch of small drawers in it that he did. I just built this, 
thought to myself, instead of doing a tall cabinet with a bunch of drawers, why not, instead of going vertical, why not go horizontal? Been pretty busy doing a whole bunch of everything. Nothing's complete. <laughs> Bam, today it snowed. So, uh, you know, old man winter, here's to you, you know. A couple projects I have been working on, uh, the first of which I shared a little bit on Facebook is a bowl. Uh, but this is my first attempt at a bowl. Made this out of walnut. It's not done yet. I started working on the center. Oh, no, this is fun. I made a lot of wood chips. And I made a lot of mistakes, but I also learned a ton. So this is one of the things I'm really enjoying about turning on the lathe. Okay, next guy is the man of the hour. This guy, he made this possible. He's been pushing this around. He's been pushing me to get this one out. And uh, really, he's always, always about helping people constantly uh, and he's not interested in having recognition for it um, he's getting it anyway <laughs> and it's seriously really great guy can't say enough about him really great work uh, great craftsman and a great friend so gotta check out his stuff and he has a really cool style too and a lot of fun and he's just having a lot of fun with his YouTube thing and also getting involved with the community so it's uh, my pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Chris Q, make the first cut. And they put about so high, and I have to shape it into that form. In order to do that, I have to build a clamping frame in that same radius to bend the wood too. So that's what we're up to today. A bent wood lamination clamping frame. Um, we already know the height of this fence is three and three quarter inches, so I know when I go to cut the strips of wood, I need to cut them at least three and three quarter inches wide. I will, however, be cutting them to four inches wide, and I'll explain later. All I did, basically, was take some painter's tape and taped a piece of string to that end, made a mark with my Sharpie at that very far point here, stretched the string around it over here, and made a mark at this point here. Say about you can never have too many clamps. <laughs> 22 clamps, I believe. Today's project is for a very cool guy, and the guy I'm talking about is my father in law. His name is Joe. You know what? I like it, um, but it needs something, I think, right, right in here. So Charles, that's what I'm looking for, buddy. Can you help me out? Oh, absolutely. All right, cool. Charles Darien. Next up is Matt Brander, building with Brander. Uh, guy's like a brother to me. 
Uh, he carved out a nice sign for me. Uh, one time I tried to give him a piece of cherry and he gave it back to me all carved out with my my, uh, my, my Gin's wood shop. So I'll always appreciate that and love it. Um, he, he's a great craftsman. Right now he's working on a really cool uh, table and I don't want to give any more out. He's carving a tabletop for a game and the whole game is carved into the tabletop. So friggin I'm looking forward to that. And let's go ahead and check out that. Sand over, clean up the neck a little bit, and we'll see where it goes from there. The whole thing with a nice beeswax mineral finish on it. Just making your own ladle spoon by hand. Matt Brander here, and this is my entry for the 2014 Whirly Gig Contest. Uh, I did a restoration on this lathe, and this is the final product. Okay, last but not least. We have Flat Pat, Le Pic Bois, guys from Quebec, fellow Canadian, and hilarious. I haven't been watching him too long. The guy's funny, and he has a lot of fun with his videos. Uh, I like watching, he's a great craftsman too. I like watching his videos, very entertaining. And uh, well, I'll just let you take a look for yourself. So he will be the one I'm passing channel pass to. Uh, so, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, go over and check his stuff, and subscribe to him, and watch because he will have a channel pass out as well. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as I did. show you how to make cutting boards the honest way. Thanks for watching.